Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dying Light 2. Why have you been watching me sleep? In this video, we're going to do some things, because things are cool. Uh, basically, we have to wait for a message, if I believe, if I remember correctly. Wait for Matt's summons, is what... Ooh. Oh, grappling hook. And a highly... Whoa, look at this stuff. Oh, we need radio towers, but that's what we need, the grappling hook. Okay, we're, we're about to get some stuff. Um, so I guess the idea is to maybe go do something in the meantime. I'm going to go do a tour because this is a side quest I was interested in. Anyway, remember I mentioned a tour is unwell and needs a little needs a little help. Um, do I have a fast travel anywhere near there? Sort of. There we go. So let's head down there. Let's go help out a tour. We're looking for a mystical healer person. Roger. Never mind. <laughs> I do still intend to do that, but... Uh, oh, you know what? That was actually close by. That was actually kind of where I was going anyway. So that's fine. Where am I? I have not entered a dark zone. I own the building game. It's mine now. It is officially the vagrant train station. I can't see a goddamn thing. Is it nighttime? What's going on? No, it's daytime. I, it took me so long just then to figure out if this was daytime or nighttime. Uh, right, so we just need to get up, don't we? Uh, which means zip zap zoopy kind of thing. Zip zap zoop. Yeah, this is really interesting how the survivors and peacekeepers are much more integrated. I guess the presence of a third threat in the uh, those those nerd guys I hate. <laughs> what are they called? The renegades, the presence of the renegades kind of means that they've got other things to worry about and they kind of need to align a little bit more, I suppose. You're Aiden? They're waiting for you. Come on, the meeting's in the VIP room. VIP room? Like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel, this plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow. The dog started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can reestablish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So, you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, he'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. See this building? This is an electrical substation that powers the district. If we get it running, we'll be able to power the VNC tower. Our unit is already on its way. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Rogue. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who left you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass and wait on us. Yeah, Wisbowski. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off. Oh. Imagine all the grieving tons. Shut up. Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander in chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. 
No time to die, folks. Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> everyone. Everyone just thinks everyone else is a dick. <laughs> it's very oh, depressing. Hey, it's oh, hey, it's me. I don't know who you are. Don't talk to me, stranger. Uh, I will figure out how to get there. There we go. Look at that beautiful Lawan. It's been a while, girl. How are you doing? How are you living? Oh, took a break from assassinations to come see me. I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Ro Meyer, they're solid. But Jack and Juan, they're destined to stab you in the back. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen. Or actually seen and lived to tell. Then how so would we scared. know about them? Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning, and it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden, the entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Sorry, Luan, but Jack will dig up info on GRE employees if I do this for him. Ro, I'm on my way. You, my friend, are a suicidal moron. The one. It was nice knowing you. Now get the fuck out of here. Oh, she's angry. I was gonna do it anyway. Like, I don't need to go talk to your crazy drunken friend. Maybe I should. I was just gonna be bored with <laughs> all reality. Let's go. I want to see the crazy new things. You know. I do feel bad. I don't like when Luan doesn't like me. She's one of the few characters I like, so. Aiden, something's wrong. Oh, for, God. oh, for God's sake. What's going on? Don't know. We have to reconnect the power. Some of our boys have already gone into the tower. There's no one closer than you. Will you check that out? Yeah, sure. I'm on it. Of course. Who is surprised? Where are we going? No one closer than me. What a load of nonsense. <laughs> Why am I perceived as a one-man army? Because I'm a pilgrim. This game's obsession with pilgrims is super strange. I, 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 again, I do not see why pilgrims are special. I really don't. I mean, I sort of do, but not in a... in this magical way that we're revered. Or feared, as the case may be. Oh, nice. Come back here at night time. Can't open this in daytime, can you? That would be cheeky. Wish you could. <laughs> I'll be back. May as well grab some of these buildings along the way. I'm realizing I don't really have many of the question marks. I've not really been doing it lately, of course. Just make sure we've got uh, a few of these safe zones if need be. A little night runner hideout kind of thing here. There we go. Yum, da, 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 da. Wait, no, what does power sound like again? I can't remember. We decided in the last video. It doesn't sound right at that. Yum, da, da, dum. Pow, pow, pow. No, I don't. I'm just making noises now. I do not remember. Blum, 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 blum. Something like that. Blum, blum, blum. Blah, blum, blum, blum. Blah, blum, blum, blum. I'll remember eventually. Oh, hey. All right, calm down. Oh, that was a cheeky dodge. Well done.
I jack you up. <laughs> Area is swarming with renegades, bro. But I'm handling them. I mean, I just killed like four dudes. Five dudes. To be fair, that's pretty remarkable when you think about it. Bro, <laughs> uh. I took care of the renegades. Good work, Aiden. Power up that substation. Fast. What about all the dead PKs? Are you not sad? Brothers. They're dead. They've gone the way of the dodo. They are ex- oh. That was very dramatic. <laughs> Alright, okay. Well, there's an arrow, and there's an A, and there's an entrance. Oh, well, wait, what? Were... To restore electricity, you need to connect the correct power generators together. Find a generator with a green light and notice number. Okay, we already did that. Objects that can be powered by multifunction generators marked with one of the numbers or symbols. Do I need to connect both of them? So this connects to A and B, right? So do I now take this cable out? Okay, so that's how it works, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That shouldn't make things too complicated, question marks by the face. <laughs> as long as the bloody thing doesn't bug out like last time, we should be okay. That way I know, wait, no, if it's open, I'll know I've been there before. Okay, let's have a little look. See what we can see. I'm not sure. I think that might be the elevator for the end, by the looks of things. So that'll be after we connect everything. There's one over there that says two on it, I think. Uh, can't go around this way. Just gotta. Okay, so let's see. Right, I, I need to make like a mental note of where exactly I am for all this, because otherwise I'll get um, very confused very quickly. I'm already prone to confusion. <laughs> so, oh, thank you. So we're on the second level, on the let's call it the left, and two green is in front of me. Red C is on the left, so the two green is going to provide power to two. The C is going to open the two, so I need to find the C first. What's that there? Is that C? That could be C. That is C. Okay, so that's one and C. Is there? A, there's one down there. <clears throat> okay. Spooky. So I guess the first thing then is finding a way over there. Which I suspect... I mean, I think I know why I'm meant to, you know, jump over there. I think I can just quite easily jump, get up there. Oh no, there's a, there's a thing. I guess I have to go up there. As soon as I need to get up there. In theory. Okay. Can I just... I'm just thinking, how am I going to get up? I mean, there will, there'll be a way somewhere, obviously. I'm just not seeing it right now. How do I get up onto this floor, onto the next floor higher? Can I climb this? No. Um, I actually don't see it right now. There's nothing particularly climbable. Look, I can't jump to that, can I? Huh? Oh, actually, not a million miles away. Actually, not a million miles away. Okay, nothing else down here. Nope. 
So this is... Ah, hello. You can see this. Oh, God, there's even more. All right, so which one do we have here? We've got one. Let's go downstairs. I don't know. I think that's a C and a one, isn't it? Well, this is creepy. <laughs> oh, there's a two. Wait, did I already activate two? Okay. So the two is downstairs. The one is on the ground floor. The C is on the second floor. What, what was this again? A and B, yeah. That, I don't think this is relevant anymore. That's the one I need to get to, isn't it? That's one and C, which means this one and this one, and then assumably that'll get me access to the two. Haven't been in here. I'm feeling very disorientated. All of a sudden, my mind is a bit like... There you go, Aiden. Good job, buddy. Yeah, I'm still not sure how to get up, though. <laughs> Maybe there's a ladder I'm missing somewhere in this sort of section. Could well be. I know! Or, uh, way up here. You can often miss, like, a little... Just a little hole in the roof or something like that, you know? Pretty simple way up, but... You inherently try to overcomplicate things. Nothing in here. I'm sure I'm missing something pretty obvious, but I just don't see it right now. Ah! See, see, I bloody said there'll be a ladder, there'll be something nearby that I'm missing. Always is the case. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to get over there, because that's going to get me to that Jenny over there. Any doors here I can open? If possible, always try to... Uh, okay, we'll have to open that when we get over to the other side. Same deal with this one. I'm trying, man. You're welcome, hothead. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me again, bloody Nora. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, got that open. Progress. Sort of. Not really, but sort of. I've managed to get a shortcut to nothing so far. It's always helpful. Is there a generator up here? Can I open this now? No, okay. So... Wait, what's the point in this floor? It doesn't achieve anything. I thought I was going to try to find a way down... Onto the one below me from here. Maybe I am. Maybe there's a, there's a hole. Maybe it's in there? Man, I'm so confused. Uh, okay. I, I, I don't see anything else here. Do we need to go higher? Can I go up there? I think it's much up here, but... Maze. Oh, hello. That boomstick thing. Gun hammer. Oh, it's a, it's a hammer. <laughs> I was excited for a moment then. Right, there's... Yeah, this is loot up here. Okay. So how do I do... Anything? <laughs> right. Oh, there's a button over there. But that's not turned on, is it? Isn't that linked to this one below me? How do I get in there, for example? Is there a... Because this is locked. And that's locked, isn't it? So how do I get into that room there? Is there a ladder under there, maybe? No, I've been there. Just drop down. C. Needs power. Okay. <laughs> Bear with. There's two. I don't know where two goes to at the moment. C needs power. That's C over there. 
That's the building I'm trying to work out how to get into. That that room there is the goal. I just want to make sure I'm not being stupid. It's not like a ladder underneath here. <sighs> I told you. Uh, every time. Every goddamn time. All right, come on, you. So this is C and one. Uh, right. So I need to get it over there. See how long this cable's gonna go for. I think it probably can't just run along, right? Eh! <laughs> I can probably drop it down to the one, though. The one's there. The trick, of course, is to try and make the cable not have to stretch that far. What if I go up here? Yeah, there we go. Took a bit of time, but we got there. <laughs> we just had to explore thoroughly. And when I saw there was no, there literally nowhere where I hadn't gone, that it just meant there had to be something else lying around. Oh, it's in the safe. I don't know what the safe code is. It'll be written somewhere, it always is. They never make this too complicated. Right, game? Yeah, there's a, there's a thing in here. I don't I don't understand the point. <laughs> what is the, what is the point in having a collectible that shows you it if that collectible is literally right next to the safe? Like don't get wrong, I'm happy to be able to open the safe, but it feels immensely pointless to me. Wait, which one is it? Is it 101? Is it pi? I don't know. I don't know which what do I got these in? One Oh. No. Is it the pie one? What's pie again? Free. <sighs> Three. Four. Two? Ah. Uh, Three, four, seven? I have to Google it. I, I do not remember. Three one four. Is that what I'm looking for? I used to know like the first ten digits or something, but clearly brain is not working looking on that level today. Is that it? Yeah, sweet. Alright, cool. Uh is that all this achieved? Yeah, I believe it is. Wow, okay. Wait, so where's for another two cable? Wasn't this a two cable? Oh, no, wait, wait, we don't know what the two cables for. Okay, so now we need to detract this, though. I mean, no, we don't. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Because that's already open. Where did this cable come from? Oh, yeah. Uh... No! There we go. <laughs> Let's just release the bloody cable. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, so now we need to take this to one. Oh wait, was see, was two the one on the um on in the basement? Which was the one in the basement? Okay, so that one has to be done. That's like one of the important ones. What's the one down here? It is two. Okay, so we need to go grab that one. It all became very simple once I found the bloody ladder. <laughs> like it re that's really all I had to do was find two ladders and it made it all a very simple process. I feel like that's been the case several times in the past. Allons-y. Okay. Whoa, 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 
did wonder why this was flooded. <laughs> I guess this is why. Um, why have you put... <sighs> you flooded the room and then put me on top of this... I can't move on top of that because it's too close to the bloody ceiling. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Right. Let's get the hell out of here. Definitely took longer than I would have liked, but... Not for any sheer stupidity this time. Not because I couldn't figure it out. I just didn't see the ladder. That's always reassuring, I think. Sexually. Um, no. I think that's basically what happened last time, so... Where is this taking me? Spooky! <laughs> Wait, what's the point? <laughs> what? Okay, maybe there's a way to drop down when in here? I didn't see anything. <clears throat> maybe that's the generator room? We just need to access it from above. And this is how you get out from there. That could well be it. Although, this does look like it's going to drop me in there, doesn't it? Ah, uh, well, it did. No, <laughs> no longer does. Let's take me up. I know it did. Nice. Probably something in here, right? Tools, big old chest. None of which are locked, which I appreciate. You know, we're kind of busy with other things, right? Don't want to be faffing around with a lockpick. Uh, okay. Eden! Stop it! This is so terribly designed. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just is. Right, there's the elevator. It works. It works perfectly. No problems whatsoever. Are we going up or down? Oh, right. I'm being stupid. <laughs> Control room. <laughs> Forgot that there was multiple buttons. Hey, great success. Life is good again. I just want that grappling hook. I should have checked the loot in the area. Oh, well. Thanks for the help, PK Dog. Now, be a good boy. Get lost. No, it's time for you to leave. Or else. Was that a dream? Yeah, I need to pause it. Bear with me. Ah! Literally, as soon as I heard the knock at the door, I got up, walked, grabbed the key, walked to the door. It took about 10 seconds, and by the time we got to the door, he's already knocking again, the cheeky little blighter. <laughs> I'm shaking in my steel toe boots. That is. <laughs> Think you'll squeal like a stuck pig like his buddies did? Let's check and see. I wonder if it's a requirement to have a stupid voice to be a renegade. Like, do they not let you in the renegades if you don't have a stupid voice? It just looks like a. <laughs> it looks a little bit like the always sunny in Philadelphia birdmen. <laughs> uh, it's not that effective. I'm gonna heal. What did we get this time? We got more than I thought we had actually. Upgraded airbags. Eh. Two way zip lines would be cool though. Hey, Ro, it's all powered on. Burned to ash and scattered on the street. Ro? You receiving? Are we receiving? Everything's shining like a fucking Christmas tree over here. Is everyone all right? Yeah, boys are going deeper into the building. The area will be secured soon. Haul your ass over here. Time to do some climbing. 
Right up, let's check in at the shop. Oh, no, but oh, all the same. Oh, wow, that's a lot of oxidizers. There's too many oxidizers. One man should not have that many oxidizers. Okay, any valuables? Not really, but we'll sell what we've got. Sell the rubbish med kits. Sell the rubbish gear. Might be good, but whatever. If it's not brawler, I don't care. I don't have any low. I've got one piece of low five brawler gear. Alright. Man, no one ever has new new uh, things anymore. I feel like I might have got them all. Right, back to the radio tower. Hey, man, just just give me a second when I try to get to the door, right? Ow. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I'm in a bad mood today. I'm not really. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, sorry, buddy. You're on your own. Look at this thing. Oh, what? Where am I? <laughs> um, <laughs> not gonna lie, did not expect giant pit there. Um, was not. I was just obviously looking in completely different direction. Huh. <laughs> okay, good to know. Why is it still nighttime? Daytime. I'm assuming there's an entrance I'm meant to be taking. Like this one, for example. Yeah, it's looking pretty promising. Hey, boys. Alright. I will bash your face in, alright? Yeah, there's a reason it says you can't use weapons here. But if electricity really brightens the place up, but the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Well, ain't you a fucking genius? Yeah. The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up and... Oh, fuck me. It's Rowe. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for... Just leave it. Get out. Now. Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. No, he's actually running. I like how the game has to wait. <laughs> it has to make sure he's out of the picture before I'm allowed to move again. Alright. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. Like, I I'm can gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro. Get out of the way. Well, this is very spooky looking, though. Okay. Might need the flashlight for this one, must be said. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sorry folks. Bloody Nora. Okay, well, I mean, they mentioned the presence of some creature in here. I'm just going to make sure my weapon is out and ready to go, I think. Toilet mushroom. The most delicious type of mushroom. Inhibitor container detected. Nice. Let's dance, zombies. Oh, cool. Oh, not cool. Not cool at all. 
Things are, are so fucking annoying. It's just a relentless attack. And the melee combat in this game cannot sustain this kind of thing. I need to know where it is and get myself into a better position. There it is. Jesus. Is that a different one? There's two of them, what the fuck? This is madness. All right, there's one down. Beat him up! Beat him up! Ugh. I'm gonna die again! Ah! Ah! This is horrible, man. Absolutely horrible. It was nearly dead. It was so nearly dead. Am I meant to sneak through here? Am I not meant to wait these up? Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I'm glad I killed one of them, though. I wish I had guns. I know, I, I, I see why they took guns out of the game, but in all, in all honesty, I miss having guns. I think it was, I think it was cool. Get in, get in, get in. I just didn't think of it as a sneaky area. I thought I had to fight my way through. <laughs> I feel like I should be able to, but these things are horrible in melee combat. Maybe I need to use more weird stuff, Molotovs and... Like, if you don't get out of the way, I don't know what I'm going to do here. <laughs> oh god, what? Bro, I'm in the lobby. Roger that. Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like 20 of them. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there. Okay. What is that banging noise? It's terrifying. Damn, Aiden, calm down. This I'm happy to fight. These guys, not a problem. Tell you what, that UV, um, the UV thing's really useful though. Really, really good. The UV torch. I wasn't sure how often it would be useful, but in this kind of scenario, it would be super good. Big fan. I guess I'm just, I, I, I'm like this in most games. I'm very much a, um, 
I, I tend to like to use the bare bones. I'm kind of like, okay, I'm playing through Elden Ring at the moment and I'm kind of just sort of boarding my way through. I'm just basically just whapping people with a giant big sword and very little else. Not using any of the extra stuff because I don't really like using consumables in video games. It's just how I play. I understand that that probably makes life harder. Well, that's never here nor that. Uh, I feel like I've got loads of combat points slightly. 15, 15, but that's nearly, that's very nearly 16. Actually, oh, so close as well. Uh, what did I work on last time? Smash. When blocking chart. Didn't even know you could block, to be honest. Sure. Dropkick. You're Leon? That's what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The blood god. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Relax, Leon. You can give it to her yourself. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Ro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it, Ro. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. Did not like his mention of volatiles. <laughs> Did not fill me with confidence. Oh, military mid-kit, nice. Okay, well you're just a regular zombie. Chris! I'm sorry, Chris. Well, actually I'm not sorry, you're a dick apparently. Well, I'm here. The power well, this is this spooky? I don't want to check the fuses. I don't want to check the fuses. <laughs> Give me those heads, buddy. Heave. Heave, Aiden. <laughs> what the hell is that? Cover your mouth and nose. Remember to wash your hands often. The virus can be spread through the air. Guys, what's going on? Direct contact. Only consume food after heating it to a temperature above 100 degrees Celsius for a minimum of two minutes. A reminder for your safety and that of those around you, please maintain a distance of two meters from all others in the building. Cover your mouth and nose. Remember to wash your hands often. The virus can be spread through the air, via surfaces, or through direct contact. Only consume it without heating it to a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius for a minimum of two minutes. I feel like maybe it was meant to be a um like a, like an informative hologram or something, and obviously it hasn't hasn't quite loaded in correctly. So instead, it's just it's just blue dude, you know. Get off me! Good job, blue dude.
Let there be light. Okay, could, that's not very helpful. <laughs> Ro, I think I restored the power. Get the cable from the power distribution room and get out of there. This had better work. What in the work in here? I tell you. All right, I need to uh, make some med kits. Looking a little bit ropey here. So many recipes in this game, it's actually a little bit mad. Look at all this stuff that, in theory, you could upgrade if you wanted to. I think they've made it a little bit too difficult to upgrade. It's not like I haven't been, I know we haven't been in the last two or three episodes, but generally speaking, I've spent a lot of time, um, you know, exploring and doing other things. Oh no. Yeah, maybe. Oh, no, it's gone. Fuck. Oh no, I should have taken the letter. I just thought I'd be optimistic for him, you know? I just wanted him to believe he could make it out alive. I was trying to help him. Guess I'm going up here. Do -do. Wait, I mean, this doesn't look like the right way. Gonna follow it anyway, out of curiosity. But yeah, it's not like I haven't been doing side acting. I've spent most of the game doing side stuff, right? Oh, it's the right way. Oh, it's just meant to go this way. <laughs> um. Oh, right. That's the mistake I'm making. Whoopsie daisy. And yeah, I'm nowhere near. I haven't maxed out a single recipe. Never mind this like 25 billion recipes that exist. Maybe you just never meant to max them all out, of course. Oh, I mean, you could if you wanted to. You just have to take a lot of grinding. But I do think it's a little ridiculous for requirements. Considering I'm, I've not even done one after 27 hours or something. After a lot of side questing and random stuff done. So, that's all. I think it's a balance issue. I just think the requirements are a little bit too high. Too many of those infected heads. Less head, more bed. That's what I always say. What am I doing? Man. <laughs> it's still spooky as anything sometimes. Look at that. It's proper horror stuff. Am I going back up or... It's very hard for me to tell right now. It certainly looks like it. I'm gonna try to take little shortcuts to make the cable go less distance, if possible. Uh, what? Where's this going? <laughs> Unironically, where's this meant to go? Is it under the water? It might well be. I mean, there is a path there. In retrospect, obviously, it's under the water. And it's just stopping so silly. Hey. Hey. Don't mind me, zombies. Don't mind me. Nothing to see here. I was going to say, I suspect I have to open this gate to do this. Go back and get it again. Maybe I could have kept hold of it, but I was just, I thought I might drown, essentially, and that doesn't sound super duper fun, so. I do like the, I actually quite like the cable thing. I don't know why. It could, it could be super obnoxious, but I quite enjoy that you, you do have to think about where you're taking the cable, and it's got, like, it feels like it's a real item, you know what I mean? Kind of like it sits against walls, and you need to judge how you're going to move it around things in order to make sure you get there in time. Yeah, that's a cool idea. Alright, 
The elevators are working. All right. I did it. Ever gotten a medal, Pilgrim? Never. I'll cut you one. Out of a potato. We're going up to set up a temporary camp. See you on the eighth floor. We did it! Good job, team. Do I trust this? No. Weapon out, just in case. Everything is suspicious. Everything wants to murder me. Everything wants to murder me. Okay, I think I'm okay. You must like hanging out in dark zones, is that it, Aiden? What took you so long? Next time, you go. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I, I know you really tried to help them. Who is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Are you coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. I quite like Ro. He's, uh... He's no nonsense, to say the least. But he, um, is a good egg. GRE detector can be used to discover inhibitors hidden inside GRE crates in another location. To expand the area covered by the GRE detector, activate radio towers to reveal inhibitor locations in new zones. After activating radio tower, all inhibitor containers hidden within the zones... Okay, cool. So it just marks the ones that my... The detector has been finding, but it does it sort of automatically. Hey, are you crying, man? Mind if I join you? Be our guest. How are you feeling about the mission, Aiden? I'm good. Yeah, we made it this far, didn't we? We'll see it through. Or die trying, right? <laughs> I'd rather not. Nice boots. I'm not going to say nice boots. Sure <laughs> of course he is. You know his story, right? You've seen the burns on his face and neck. I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but... Not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he has. Damn right. Okay. Time to get some shut eye. Just a moment, gents. Special treat for the night. Well, you rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. To the fallen. And pretty ladies. Why do you want to exclude your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there, guys. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatiles in the old port? Well, that was a carnage. It was, and we pulled through. We'll have another good story to tell our families. Am I right? You are, sir. Something's bothering me, Aiden. The renegades. And what about them? They're everywhere. Spreading in the city like cockroaches. But here... The biggest antenna in the city, strategic place, and no renegades at all. Ah, it's not like anything else they're doing makes sense. Good point. First someone turned on the electricity, no idea why. And then, when I questioned the renegade officer, he babbled something about GRE facilities they're trying to locate. Didn't make much sense if you ask me, X-13 or something like that. But I'm worried what they're planning. X-13? I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? What did you hear? I know that Waltz is hunting for it as well. Any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Well hidden. But once we're done with this motherfucker, maybe we figure out what it is and find it first. But for now, 
and get some beauty sleep. Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Let's hear some more. I'm assuming the renegades aren't here because they're scared of the monster that still lurks somewhere in the building, maybe? Yo, Sleeping Beauty! Ace! The head honcho is here, let's roll! I'm awake, I'm awake. And that brought the transmitter? Safe in my pocket, boy. Okay. Well, that was a very successful episode. I got a little frustrated, but it was my fault, I will concede. I don't need to fight those guys in melee. I think I could have done it with a couple more tries, though, you know. I think I could have taken out the... The spooky boys. <sighs> you just need to keep dodging. It's kind of like when I play Elden Ring or something, and I get, like, really confident, and I stop bashing away at something, and then I inevitably run out of stamina, and I get killed. Or they find, like, room to attack, and I get killed. You just have to hit them once or twice, dodge, hit them once or twice, dodge, hit them once or twice. But I'm quite enjoying, I'm, I'm finding I'm enjoying the game more now that we're focused on this main storyline. There's more momentum, there's more stuff going on. When I was just kind of like going side to side and side to side doing all these random bad side quests, I was losing a little bit of love for the game. But I'm quite enjoying what we're doing here. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for joining me. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.